We'll be giving you that story later on on the broadcast. But six people, including top eastern regional security officials, escaped death narrowly after a helicopter they were flying in crashed in Kitoka, Meru County. The six were en route to Sololo, Marsabit County, to attend a security meeting following tribal clashes in the area in the last two weeks. Jaga has more. Another helicopter, another crash. This time, it has occurred at Kaive village in North Imenti constituency, Meru County. The debris still lying in one firm, attracting crowds, taking a glimpse of this police air wing chopper, which fell from the skies at about 8 a.m. It was destined for Marsabit County. Kuna mama alituita, akiwa ndani, na wako na uniform. Wakati tulikadivia hapo, tukainue yondere mrango, tukaangalia, tukamtoa, Na kuna umungine hapa nae alivaki. Mwenye alikuwa hapa alakatuambia tusikalivi hapa ndege na esalipuka. Kwa angalia andani hapa kuna wenye alikuwa meumia wanatoa andamu na masikio mafua. Ni bahati tu kwamba kila mtu hameokolewa akiwa hai. Lakini ingekuwa was. Na ningeomba watu wetu wa Marsabet. Wapate mafunzo na hii ndege vile imefanyika. Wawache kuwana. Shori kama hawange kwa na vita. The ill-fated chopper departed from Wilson Airport at 6.45 a.m. before picking up the Eastern Regional Top Security Officials in Embu and made an emergency landing in Moranga due to bad weather. The journey was, however, cut short in Meru and the victims rushed to the Meru Level 5 hospital for initial treatment. Eastern Regional Police Commander Lydia Ligami, Regional DCI Head Jonah Kirui, Gilbert Magut from the NIS, and Isaiah Mukoru, who was critically injured, together with the pilots Peter Kemboi and Jacinta Akorot, were later airlifted to Nairobi for further treatment. In the meantime, as the victims are airlifted to Nairobi, investigations into the cause of the helicopter crash continue. At the Wilson Airport in Nairobi, Interior CS Dr. Fred Matiangi had a stern warning. The team affected by the incident were en route to a peace mission in Marsabit, and Matiangi says he has had enough of the perennial clashes in Marsabit County. We are now increasingly convinced that we need to change our doctrine of internal security on, on that particular part of the country. And, 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 and uh, I'm sending this message to our leaders, especially from that part of the country. We cannot continue this way. The second helicopter flew to Garissa and Wajir to pick the other regional team, which was to attend the meeting in Sololo. George Maringa, KTN News.